does a motor starter and the contacts in it work? This happy couple most likely never gave a thought to how the steel in their new automobile was made. It began with the steel making process at the plant that produced the rolled steel, which was shipped to the automobile manufacturer. Let's look at the electrical process that put everything in motion at the plant. It went something like this. The green or start button on a push button station was depressed to send electrical power to a contactor in a motor starter. This particular NEMA contactor was made by Furnace, which is now a Siemens brand. The electrical current goes first to the coil. A coil is simply copper wire wrapped around a magnetic core. The outside covering around the wire and core can either be wound or encapsulated with a special plastic like the one in this contactor. We'll remove the cover to expose the contacts. When the coil becomes energized, it pushes, or in this case, magnetically pulls a metal plate downward in the contactor. The movable contacts are attached to the plate, mounted in a holder, which then contact or mate with the stationary contacts. When they mate, the circuit is completed and will start one or a number of motors. So a contact is simply an electrically controlled switch that completes or interrupts a circuit. A motor starter is a contactor, like this one, with overload relays added to each circuit for overload protection. The contactor and overloads are most often mounted in a metal enclosure or box like this. Some contactors, like the IEC examples, are mounted on rails. Repco is proud to be part of a process that provides quality products to the marketplace. We've been supplying replacement motor control parts to industry for more than four decades to help keep the machines running that supply the products we use every day.